Hello folks, I'm Josh McGee coming to you on this National Signing Day and I'm happy to be joined by the head football coach here at Upper Iowa University, Coach Jason Hoskins. Coach, uh, thanks for joining us here and thanks for talking with us here this week on this great day. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. So let's talk about, again, what this is all about. It's pre pretty much a national holiday, National Signing Day. You're welcoming a brand new uh, group of recruits here to the Peacock family. Give us your initial thoughts on this incoming class for this upcoming year. National Signing Day is a special day for all football coaches and actually football families, so they may get to see dads around a little bit more. So um, we're all excited about that. Um, we love our uh, the class of guys that we're bringing in. Um, staff has done a really nice job of identifying uh, needs that we had in our football program and going out and addressing those needs. So overall, we, we like the quality of student athlete that we're getting into our program here next year. Not only just from an athletic standpoint, but just good all around young men that we want in our football program, hard workers, we've got a lot of state champions. Um, and for the most part, a majority of our class is, is hailing from a, a three state region. So coach, obviously, you know, year after year, you have uh, players coming in, players also graduating in positions of need that you wish to address. When it comes to this incoming class, what were those points of emphasis that you guys were looking to fill with this upcoming group? Yeah, anytime that we go into a recruiting class, we're always gonna start from closer to the ball, move farther away. So we wanna make sure that we do a good job in the O and D lines every year. O-line was a uh, heavy need. Um, we feel like we did address that. We've got a number of really good student athletes that are coming in for us this year in the old line that we're that we are ex extremely excited about on D line we were pretty young um, this past season so it wasn't necessarily a depth or or number of defensive linemen it was essentially quality we had just a few positions that we wanted to fill with high quality athletes and we feel like we we did that extremely well so um, the other few spots that we have uh, needs at in, in any time you go into a recruiting class you need spots guys at every position um, but we still felt like the receiver defensive back room um, were two positions that okay we had to make sure that we get a little bit more pop and um, for the most part at those two positions we we felt like we did that um, got a, a high number of uh, safeties in the defensive backfield that um, we feel are, are going to be able to come in and compete right away. We did get a couple of corners that we, we like um, that were highly sought after recruits that we felt like uh, um, we built a relationship and did a nice job. And then the receiver room so far, we've, we've added four guys to that room. Um, and again, there are a few guys in that group that we feel will come in and be able to play for us right away. Well, Coach, a big aspect of this recruiting class, of course, is a large group from the state of Iowa. Talk to me about how important it is to lock down the state. And then also, when it comes to some of these other Midwestern kids, talk to me about the impact of the upcoming move to the GLVC has had on you guys and your recruiting tactics. We're always going to do a good job in the state of Iowa. We're the only Division II school in the state, um, so that's home base. We want to make sure that we we take a look at every Iowa high school senior and give them a, a, a good look and a good opportunity to come join Upper Iowa football. At the end of the day, if we, we do a good job in our home state, we can, do, we can be extremely successful. High school coaches in the area have been awesome. Our coaches will be out in those schools every recruiting season, both spring and fall, and we want to continue to do a good job there. We still want to be a Midwest football team, so we still want to do a good job in you know, the states of Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, but we have started to look into Missouri a little bit. With the new GLBC, a lot of our shift now, we became the most northern school in a southern conference, where before we were the most southern school in a northern conference. So um, our recruiting area has shifted a little bit more south. Um, not necessarily south-south, but just the southern Midwest region. So a little bit more central southern Illinois, a little bit more of Missouri. Uh, the St. Louis area has become um, an area that we have started to recruit a little bit more heavy. Um, and we feel that those student athletes will be a lot more open to Upper Iowa with, with the road games being down the street from them. Well, Coach, obviously right now it's a little cold outside and a lot of snow on the ground. But of course, you guys are still hard at work. Talk to me about what you guys are up to right now as a team and how you guys are prepping for spring ball coming up here in a couple of months. The energy in our football program has been extremely good and that has been since we basically walked off the field in our last game the kids that have been here are extremely eager to 
um, already get started on the 2023 season. So those guys know the urgency and we've already got started. So currently those guys are, are lifting. So we got four lifts a week and, and two runs a week. And uh, it's been, like I said, a lot of good energy down in the weight room, a lot of good energy during our runs. Um, and those kids have obviously bought into the fact that this is what it takes to be championship level football program. Um, so they're in the middle of doing that. Here, once we get done with recruiting, um, they'll be able to spend a, a little bit time with their coaches, um, having a little bit of meeting time, um, maybe do uh, get an opportunity to do a little bit of skill instruction. So, um, but we've had a lot of football players floating around our our, our football offices, and and they're eager to get going. So, I, I love where our football team is. I love we're, we're still a young team. We still only have a few seniors on the uh, in the group, but um, these young guys are are becoming. Uh, they're just stepping into those veteran roles, and, and uh, we really like the direction of our football program. Our, our assistant coaches have done an outstanding job. You know, we had a couple of hires that we had to make, but um, they've done a really nice job in integrating with our team and, and, uh, and pushing our kids. Well, Coach, again, I know you're very busy today, so thanks for taking the time here to speak with us, and uh, good luck going forward. And, again, congratulations on another great recruiting class. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I'm Josh McGee. Go Peacocks.